Hola, por favor. Welcome to your daily dose of Fortnite. Today we're going to be going over transformations, um, transform keys, what they are, what they do, um, and how to use them. So let's start by just going into the armory, um, the transform section, and you can see there are a bunch of different keys that I have saved up here. Um, the first thing you need to know are there are two different types of keys. There are permanent keys, and as their name suggests, as many, you can use them as many times as you want, they never disappear. You can just use them over and over and over again. And then there are consumable keys, and you can see the little number here. So I have one uh, epic axe transform schematic, I have four epic assault rifle transform schematics. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the consumable keys. So let's say I want to transform this. Uh, use this trans shotgun transform key. So if I open it up, you'll see I have five slots here. And then if I look over at the transform key section, you'll see a number from zero to 500. So what I need to do is fill that uh, bar all the way up to 500 in order to earn a legendary shotgun. So if I click one of these slots, I'm, I can choose anything I want to put in that slot. So I can choose a hero, defenders, lead survivors, survivors, ranged we or weapon schematics, um, sorry, melee schematics, ranged weapon schematics, or trap schematics. And they each have a number underneath of them, and that number is how much it will fill up this bar. So I need 500. Um, if I use a legendary trap, it's going to fill up 300 of the bar. So you can see I'll receive 5,000 schematic XP if I transform this right now. I would not get the shotgun uh, schematic. I only get the experience um, that I would get from recycling this trap. But if I go in here and I, let's say I add uh, this pistol, which is worth 250, I have now reached 500 because 300 plus 250 is 550. I'll get the 10,000 schematic XP, and that's how much I would get from recycling both of these. And then I will also get a legendary shotgun. You can see it cost me 200 research points to do this. Um, I only have 25 right now, um, so I would not be able to transform this currently. But that's how the consumable keys work. Basically you add up um, to the number at the end of the bar using any of the items you want. Um, and you have five slots to get to that number. So if I wanted to remove these, I could say use five legendary survivors if I wanted. And that would get me to the 500. Um, so a little bit more about the different types of items that you can use. Um, Obviously, any card I slot, I'm going to get the experience that's associated with that card. So a survivor, I'm going to get survivor XP for transforming it. A hero, I'll get hero XP. Same with a defender. If I use a defender, I'll get hero XP. If I use um, a schematic, uh, melee, ranged, or trap, I will get schematic XP for using that card in the transformation. The keys... Um, have costs to them as you saw so the shotgun one is going to cost me research points so any schematic transform key is going to cost me research points so even this epic pistol that's going to cost me research points um, the rare trap is going to cost me research points the higher the rarity of the key you're using the more it's going to cost any people transform keys such as survivor this rare survivor it's going to cost people uh, lead survivor, people, uh, defender is going to cost me people, and then um, let's see, there should be a hero one. Yep, so epic hero schematic, that's also going to cost me people. So those are the two different costs. Um, so as I said before, for the um, consumable keys, you want to add up to the bar. Um, you can actually uh, use your permanent keys as well um, and they're a little bit different so the way the permanent keys work are you can get a reward um, up to and including that rarity so if I use this epic hero transform schematic um, key
key and I fill it up, you'll see the bar is set at 64 right now. So if I fill that up, let's find something here to fill up 64. So let's go 40 and hmm, let's see, let's go 56. I don't think we'll be able to get it exact, but if I go and I add this gray survivor now, I'm going to go to 65. So I'll have the bar filled. So now you see the bar resets. So filling that first bar only got me an uncommon hero. So if I want to get a blue or a rare hero, I have to fill the bar up to 96 now. So if we remove all these, because we're not going to be able to get there. So you know I need the first 64. So that 100 is 64 plus 36. So now I'm 36 out of 96 to my next level. So I need, what, 60 more? So we will look for something here that's close to that. So here's 80. So we'll add a rare hero and add 80 to it. So now I've filled up that second 96. So now I'll get a rare hero instead of an uncommon one. And now if I want to get up to the epic, I have to go and fill the bar again up to 240. So if I choose another... Let's just put a legendary hero in for now. Um, and I think we got something worth 40. Yeah. So if I fill up to 240, now I get my epic hero and the number changes to 400 because that's the total that I needed to get to my epic hero. Um, so you can see I have 300 or 420 here but I only needed 400 and that's the max I can go. I can't go higher and get a rarity above this transform schematic. I couldn't get a legendary hero from this. But as you see, I can get an uncommon, a common, or an epic, depending on how many uh, points, transform points I use to fill up the bar. Um, that's not the case with the consumable keys. So if I went to a consumable key, like let's say this assault rifle, 0 to 200, when I get to that 200, it's not going to start a new bar um, and make me be able to get something better. And also, I can't fill up part of the bar just to get like a common or an uncommon. So if I put in 100, you see I get no assault rifle, I just get the XP. If I put in another 100, now I'm maxed out. My only option is to get the epic assault rifle. Um, so that's the difference between the permanent and the consumable keys. So I believe that is everything um, that has to do with the transform keys. Um, I guess one thing to note is obviously it doesn't say what weapon, hero, uh, survivor, or defender you get um, or trap. That's because it's going to be random. So if you fill up the bar for the shotgun and you transform it, you'll get a legendary shotgun, but you don't know which one you're going to get. It'll just be a random schematic, but it will be a shotgun. And then, of course, if you use like your ranged weapon transform schematic, you'll get a ranged weapon, but you don't know what type it's going to be. You don't know if it'll be a shotgun, a sniper, assault rifle, a pistol, um, and you don't know which weapon it'll be. Um, so, it's kind of a gamble, but if you have a lot of extra schematics um, and people or research points laying around, it's a good way to get um, great weapons. If you really want a legendary shotgun, well, use your legendary shotgun key, go find a mission that rewards that and uh, earn it, and then use it to get a legendary shotgun. You may not get the one you want, but eventually RNG will be in your favor and you probably will get the gun that you want. So. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day.